abroad. Uh, I've been living in Chicago for 20 years, and uh, I decided about six, eight months ago just to sell everything and hit the road. So travel around on my Harley. I camp sometimes. I stay with people sometimes. Just depends. Um. I'm from California, and I've been uh, living off a motorcycle for like a long time. I left in the spring of '94. You know what? In those 19 years, I haven't seen any one place more than two months. Two months. And yeah, and, it, and as time's gone on, I usually don't stay places that long anymore. It's usually three weeks is a long shot. But what's happened is it's become very easy for me to move from one town to another. It's a lot easier than um, than staying in one place for me. So, which is kind of interesting. Um, funny, uh, my story is on Facebook, and one of my fans, I can't even remember the guy's name at this particular moment, uh, said you should really check out this guy's Facebook, you know, he's been doing it for 18, 19 years, uh, you know, he's probably got some good information for you, and he had seen some of Scotty's videos and things like this, so I went and checked out his Facebook, and we just kind of talked online for a little while, and then we had a phone conversation, and next thing I know, you know, I'm here with you guys, uh, since last Tuesday, I've been here a week, um, and he was uh, in what town in Virginia? Harrisonburg. Harrisonburg. After D.C., I worked at D.C. Yeah. For the uh, for the, the veterans room. Yeah. So I mean, he was right here, and I'd love to pick people's brains. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm new at this, and I learned a lot of things from him just in a couple of days we've been hanging out. That's a question people, that's one of the first questions people always ask me, and the first answer to it is, is we just don't have to work much. Um, I work. Um, two months a year maybe, maybe two to three, and I work a week to two weeks at a time. Personally, so far, uh, I'm a virtual assistant, so I build websites, I do accounting. As long as I got Wi-Fi somewhere, you know, McDonald's or the little card I carry around, then I can still work. She is not right in the head. <laughs> She's a homeless bra that lives on a motorcycle, and she does it because she wants to. I kind of dig it. That kind of turns me on. But what, what I tend to do is, what, I've got, what I do a lot anymore is work at the big motorcycle rallies, because the big motorcycle rallies have become um, more commercial, pretty commercialized, and there's big money at them, and, and there's all those vendors work there. And this is a job where you can come in and work hard for a week, put in a lot of hours, and then you get your money and you get out. And, and then you can go to the next state or another place, and maybe you get to know all these vendors, because the vendor's the modern-day gypsy, right? Right. They, they travel from town to town selling their snake oil. I mean, a lot of those guys don't even have motorcycles, man. Right. Some of them, a lot of them do, but a lot of them don't. And so you get to know all these guys, and they'll be like, hey, you want to work this show? You want to work that show? And I'm like, yeah, no, no. They just wanted me to. I just worked three of them. In the spring, there's a line of rallies that goes up the East Coast. And what I try to do is work enough of them to get my money for the summer. That last boss of mine, he always says to me, he says, I don't know how to motivate you. He says, I try money and it doesn't work. He goes, I don't know how to make you. I'm like, dude, once I got some money, I want to do something else. I was a roofing contractor. I was in the roofing business for 22 years. Like, I had a big house and cars yeah. and trucks and stuff. <laughs> you know. Well, for a lot of my friends that worked, it didn't work for me. Right. Working all the time to, to, keep, to try to hold my, my little empire together. I got tired of it. When I got out, I started taking motorcycle trips, man, and I, and I got out there and I just knew it. And the trips became longer and longer. I started hating coming home, man. And then I started hating being home. And so it didn't make sense to keep coming home. But I was coming home just trying to make enough money to get back out. And I started going and taking. I'd go for like the first year. first long one was a month. And then the next year it was all summer. And then the year after that I ran out of money and I kept going. I found out you ran out of money and keep going, right? <laughs> and then I left California. I live in California. And, and I traveled for the summer and come back. And then uh, I left California with five hundred dollars. I traveled for nine months, went all up through Canada and everything. I got back into California nine months later with five fifty. Um, in this this particular life, I do more adventurous things than I did in one year. The kind of adventures than I did in my life before. And you know, I have to agree with that because I was always stuck in that suburban, you know, commercialized kind of world. The big house, the cars, you know, the job, and you know, working for the man, so to speak. And uh, I just got tired of it. It wasn't what was in me that just wasn't me so I lost my job and I think that was a blessing in, in some strange way uh, you know I did try to find another job but it just wasn't what I wanted to do mm -hmm. so kind of like Scotty said I liquidated everything and screw it I'm out of here she wants yeah. to mooch information off me because I'm kind of a professional homeless person <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll tell you guys something when I left man I told you I started hating coming home it didn't make sense to keep coming home right and so um, I left to see if I could stay gone, and uh, 
but the thing was, was I wasn't looking to run an endurance ride, you know, yeah. where it's a hard ride and you're, and you're road weary mm -hmm. all the time and you're sleeping on a picnic table under a tarp in the rain. And uh, I was looking for to try to engineer a way that is, dare I say, comfortable enough to work as an everyday lifestyle.